Lesson 8.5, count to 50 by ones. We use the order of numbers to help us count to 50. We use a 50 chart to detect numerical counting patterns. This is a 20 chart. We can see the numbers in counting order going from 1 up to 20. And we can see how the numbers in the first row have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the 10 ends with a 0. It's a 1 with a 0 next to it. The next row of numbers each have a 1. See how the 11 starts with a 1? The 12 starts with a 1. The 13 starts with a 1. See how they all start with a 1? But look at the second number in 11. It's a 1, just like that's a 1. This has the second number as a 2, like that has a 2. We have 3. Look at, they both have a 4. They both have a 5. They both have a 6. The only difference is this has a 1 in front of the number. And see, 20 ends with 0. When we count to 20 on this 20 chart, we go all the way to 10, and we go to this next row to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Understanding the 20 chart helps us understand a 50 chart. This is a 50 chart. It goes from 1 up to the number 50. This is the number 50. It's a 5 with a 0 next to it. This is the word 50. And we can see the numbers in counting order. We can see the second row starts with a 1. Each number starts with a 1. See that? In this row, each number starts with a 2. That's for 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And now the numbers are going to start with a 3 for 30. And see how they all end with a 0? Then we have 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Now the numbers are going to start with a 4 for the 40s. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. And if this chart continued, we would know that the numbers would start with a 5. And if you look at the columns going down, we see all the numbers end with a 1. And in this column coming down, they all end with a 2. And in this one, they all end with a 3. This one, they all end with a 4. Look at, do you see what's happening here? They end with a 5. They all end with a 6. They all end with a 7. They all end with an 8. They all end with a 9. And look, these all end with a 0. And if you look at the number in the front, it starts with a 1, starts with a 2, starts with a 3, starts with a 4, starts with a 5 but then they all end with a zero. By looking at what's happening in this 50 chart, it will help us to count. If this number was missing and it was empty, we would know that it should start with a three, and from looking at the column, we know that the three would be followed by a five because they all end in five, and that is 35. So here we have a 50 chart, and as we count, we start with 1, we count all the way to the end of the row to 10, and then to count on after 10, we know we go to the next row below it. We're going to go to 11, then 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now we go to the next row below it and start counting. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. We read the numbers that begin with a 2 as 20 followed by that number. 
we read the numbers that begin with a 3 as 30 followed by that number. So now, after reading 30, we're going to go to the next row below and start counting. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And the numbers that begin with a 4 are read as 40 and then that number. So we go to the next row below and read 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Here on the 50 chart, I've circled the number 18. And we can count on from 18 to 50. Let's count together and make sure you point to each number as we count. 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. We started at 18 and we counted on going down each row until we got to 50. We're going to use this 50 chart to help us solve some riddles. Here's the first one. What number is greater than 13 and less than 15? We can find 13 on our 50 chart. It's right here. So here's 13. We know it's greater than this number and it's less than 15. And here's 15. So what number is greater than 13, but less than 15? Do you know? If you said 14, you're right. 14 is greater than 13, and 14 is less than 15. We need to color the number square green. So we're going to color the 14 green. Okay, now here's our next riddle. What number is greater than 27 and less than 29? Do you see 29? 29 is right here. So what number is greater than 27 and less than 29? If you said 28, you're right. 28 is greater than 27, and it's less than 29. We need to color that square yellow. We're going to color the 28 yellow. We know it's greater than 27 and less than 29. And we've answered the riddles. You can practice counting to 50 using a 50 chart. Our next lesson, 8.6, we're going to count to 100 by ones. Have a wonderful day. Please hit the like button, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.